again, everyone, and welcome back. Appreciate you guys uh, stopping by again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go over another Alpine Air uh, freeze-dried ration. Today we have a spicy sausage pasta. So we have pasta with sausage crumbles and a creamy cheese sauce finished with a dash of cayenne pepper. So it actually sounded kind of good. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and uh, get this prepared and and uh, kind of review it. We've already done one, so hopefully you go and uh, check our previous videos for the first in the line. And let's see here. So, we have 600 calories in this pouch. We've got 24 grams of protein. And we'll flip it around here. So again, this is, uh, this is for a single serving. Uh, obviously, you just uh, double it. <laughs> so again, per serving, 300 calories. You know, uh, 440 milligrams of sodium. So actually, this one has a little bit less sodium than uh, than some of the other ones. <clears throat> Obviously, again, you're increasing that, you're doubling this, but still, that's quite a bit less than, than the other one had, if I remember correctly. Nothing else really stands out super well there. Good, healthy amount of vitamin C. Oh, okay. But uh, anyway, yeah, this one should be uh, should be kind of interesting. So we uh, we do have a little bit of instructions here. Um, yeah, let's see. So one and a half cups or 355 milliliters of boiling water. And uh, again, pretty cool. This does have these uh, these little fill lines on the side. And let's see. To easy fill line number seven. So that would be our line. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to add whatever water and then judge on consistency. Um, I just tend to uh, like to, you know, again, judge on consistency as opposed to following directions. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and open her up here and we'll add our water and get her started. And just as a general reminder, make sure you are checking out the... Uh, all the links in the description. I put uh, I put a couple things down there normally, but uh, we do normally have some helpful links, including some Amazon links. Yeah, look at there, a little a lot of little sausage pellets and powder and little tiny noodles. Little tiny noodles. Um, go ahead and add some water here. But again, you know, also in the uh, links in the description, have a link to foreignmre.com. They've helped us out a few times. All my favorite YouTube channels are down there. And uh, Patreon, if you're interested in supporting the channel at all, Patreon is a good place to get started. So yeah, just make sure you check out the old links in the description. And also, if any of you are new uh, to the channel so far, and you're enjoying the video, make sure you hit subscribe. Alright, so I'm going to take a chopstick here. And I'm just going to... This one isn't quite as bad as some of the other ones. But uh, sometimes it's just nice to have a little chopstick and I need to get a maybe like a pair of titanium ones or something someday. But anyway, this will help get all the contents at the bottom of the bag brought to front and center. Uh, there we go. Um, looks like the sauce is already, uh, already thickening there a little bit. <clears throat> Give you a shot of that real quick. Smells great. Wow. That smells amazing. Jeez. I'm actually pretty jazzed to get this one uh, get this one on the tray. It's got a nice kind of like I'll be honest with you, the the first smell, I kind of thought of this uh, this old pizzeria that uh, we had back in my hometown called Mr. Pizza. For some reason, that first smell just kind of reminded me of, of that old pizza place for some reason. So, anyway, I'm pretty excited about this one. So, we're going to let it set about 10, 12, you know, whatever minutes uh, to reconstitute. And as always, I generally will check this about halfway through to see if I need more water uh, to, and to check the consistency. So, and you know, just to do another stir as well. So, that's up to you but that's what I always do for these so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and let her let her rest and reconstitute and we'll be right back. all right we're back here I've let this set for uh, probably about 12 13 minutes I did go ahead and add a little bit of extra water and as you can see it definitely went ahead and soaked up all that there might be a little bit of 
a little bit more, but no, it seems to have done pretty well. So there we go. This is traditionally what you want. You don't really want like a big old saucy mess when you're eating pasta. You want it to, you know, just nicely sort of cling to the noodles. So good. Yeah, that was very good. All right. Smells fantastic. Seeing a couple little herbs here, uh, some red pepper. interesting so let's go ahead and just take a quick bite here and just get into it and there we go looks pretty darn good hmm so you definitely get a nice little bit of sausage a little bit of heat from the sausage not much but a little bit the peppers are nice in there. The pasta is not, uh, hmm. excuse me, pasta is not uh, mushy. Basically just right. Um, if, I, if, if I had to say anything, I think the only thing I'd say is maybe just a little bit of salt. It'd be perfect. I always feel crazy. When I say one of these should need a little bit more salt, but in this case, maybe just a tiny bit would be perfect, but mm, it really is good. <laughs> On the last one I did, I was a little disappointed, honestly, like I wasn't quite as good as I thought it would be. This one, man, this is a real winner. I wouldn't mind buying this again. Hmm. Look at the package here and see what kind of cheese they put in this. As I said, it was like a cheesy sauce or whatever. Next, red and green bell pepper. Cream. Sharp cheddar. Interesting. And Parmesan. So Parmesan, sharp cheddar. Okay. Oh, chives. That's what we were chewing on, so some chives time. Good, good, good oregano. Crushed red pepper. Okay, cool. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, I, oh yeah, that's right. It did say a, a touch of cayenne, so I guess that could be where a little bit of the back end spices. Not really ch tasting a lot of the cheddar. Um, it's just kind of like a nice, pleasant, like light cream sauce, but certainly not assertive. I don't really taste a lot of Parmesan either, but. Mm, I suppose you get a hint of it. I don't see sharp cheddar. I don't taste that in the profile. But anyway, still a very nice little pasta. Man, when they say sausage crumbles, they really do mean sausage crumbles. Let's try those alone. Yeah, those are nice. Those are nice. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to finish my lunch here. I was really impressed with this one. Alpine Air spicy sausage pasta. Don't be fooled by spicy. I mean, if you can stand a little bit of heat, um, you're going to be fine here. If you can't, then don't buy it. <laughs> but th there is a little back end heat, not much, but uh, but a little bit. I really enjoyed this one. The smell, the aroma is fantastic, but. Aside from that, the taste is really good. A little bit lower sodium option as well. I don't have the package from the from the previous one I did, but I mean, I guess uh, you just gotta go watch the other video, guys. <laughs> but anyway, you know, as far as sodium content, it's not that bad. I get, you know, the more I eat it, the more I don't need the salt, any extra salt. Just a very, very good overall pasta dish. Very nice for freeze dried option. That one I probably would buy again, maybe for a nice camping trip. And there's a pretty healthy ration of food here too. So anyway, guys, thank you all for stopping by. Again, as I remind you in the middle of the video, just make sure to hit up the links in the description. If you're new and haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, for all the new content that we have here. 
And for those of you who haven't hit the old bell up by the subscribe button to get notifications, make sure you do that so that you're notified whenever I put out a new video. And uh, yeah, folks, just want to thank you all for stopping by and have a great rest of your day. See ya.